Hello there. Today we will be replacing a 14 year old rear roof AC unit on my motorhome. This is a Dometic 6518-15 Duo Thermo 13500 BTU called a Penguin 2 low profile heat pump AC with electronic board. I also had to purchase a heat pump conversion kit that consists of a pigtail wire and comfort control board. In plain English, what this board does, it makes my old style 5 button comfort control work with this unit. This new AC unit comes with a board that works with the new 12 button controller, which looks like this. I made sure all parts were delivered and no damage to the AC or the parts. I like the screws in this uh, new unit. They have a collar so that it maxes out into the metal and it doesn't put pressure on the uh, fiberglass and cracks it eventually. That's what happened to the old one. A lot of plastic and a lot of foam in these new ones. I wonder why they're much lighter than the old ones. Look at that gel coat on that cover. It's very important to check the foam seal under there. That's the one that's going to seal the unit from water coming in from your roof. And um, that gets squished down to two inches once it's bolted on. And if there's a little scrape in there, you never know what could happen. You don't want that damaged. We got all the electrical here. This is uh, for the uh, remote and uh, the, the J box is of course for the electric. And then you got some 12 volt wires there as well. And that's the blower fan, and uh, the other one is the intake, where the filter actually goes. Now, just a short disclaimer notice before I start. I am not an electrician, and as you will see, I have an AC technician slash friend doing those particular hookups and adjustments for me. Before we start working, I shut off the circuit breaker for the 120 volt AC and disconnect the main switch for the 12 volt DC system. I start by taking off the two hole plugs from the return cover. Take off the filter air grill. Now we have all four screws exposed from the uh, return cover. Watch how fast I do this. The miracle of fast motion. Now, this is the box we're going to be taking out the air conditioner. That's where it's wired to. And these are all little other wires. So, what holds the air conditioner are these two screws right here. These two and these two. Using a 3 8 socket on a ratchet, I just uh, loosen them up for now until Ricky gets here. This whole thing will come down. We have to take this tape off. Now the fun part. Placing the unit on the roof, this unit weighs approximately 100 pounds. They advise uh, to use a mechanical hoist to place the unit on the roof to prevent back injury or worse. I did not video this part. All I can advise is to have enough people helping and at least one ladder to guide the AC unit to the roof, not to damage the side of your RV. So use your imagination how we did it. Okay, so we uninstalled the old unit and uh, put it on the side there just in case we need anything out of it, which I doubt. Clean the surface around the opening before installing the new AC. I just used uh, some spray detergent and just cleaned the area where the air conditioning foam is, is going to be hitting. All tools needed are ready for use, especially on the roof. It's a pain going up and down that ladder. The fun starts for Ricky now. Ricky is exchanging the board, which is the uh, conversion kit. He has to disconnect the board that came with the AC and install the uh, conversion kit board. That's going to take a little bit of time. It probably took him about 20 minutes to do that. I'm not going to film this for 20 minutes.
And there's the swap, finally. I just want to say, even though I have this in fast motion, this guy is fast. You gotta see him reading instructions and pulling wires like crazy. So all that pigtail was, just put it over there. Yeah. Okay, we're uh, ready to put the um, air condition on top of the hole. So we lift and place the unit over the prepared opening using the gasket on the unit as a guide. Caution, do not slide the unit at any time. This may damage the neoprene gasket attached to the bottom and may leak in the RV later. Uh, this completes the outside hard work for now once we align it as best as we could up here. Once it was approximately aligned with one person staying on the roof, the other person goes into the RV and we finish aligning it. At the same time, he's installing the uh, return air cover kit and inserts the four long bolts between the inside plate and the bottom of the AC unit. These are instructions to how to put the ceiling plate on. Hold the ceiling plate up to the opening. Be sure the large plate faces the rear of the RV. Start each mounting bolt through the ceiling template and up into the unit base pan by hand. You have to find the hole. Check the gasket of the unit over the roof opening and adjust it as necessary. Unit may be moved from below by slightly lifting, but very little. Then he tightens the bolts to compress the gasket down to a half inch, evenly tightening the bolts to a torque of 40 to 50 inch pounds. This will compress the roof gasket to approximately a half inch and the bolts are self-locking, so further tightening is not necessary. Uh, caution, if bolts are left loose, it might not be adequate roof seal, or if over tightened, damage might occur to the unit base or the ceiling. Here you can see two of the front mounting bolts coming through from the plate inside. After he tightens them all up, all he needs to do is reach up into the return air opening and pull the unit electrical cords down and just splice and plug all the wires exactly how we unplug the other ones. All the fittings fit and need to be plugged and the rest is all uh, connected with connectors. Vent cover back on. Make sure those clips are really nice and tight. Ricky puts back the cover on the electrical box that protects the, um, the board. And we finally put back the AC cover on. Amen. We line up the screws and we're done with that. Pick up all your tools. We reuse the old foam divider plate to cover the ceiling to roof thickness. Now this divider plate, this is to help prevent cold air discharging from circulating into the unit return air opening. We put duct tape all around and on top of the foam plate to ensure a nice seal. And we're ready to put back the cover. We reinstall the filter return air grill into return air cover. Align the tabs with mating notches and snap into place. Install two hole plugs into the screw holes in back of the return air. And this completes the uh, unit installation. Now let's see how cold it gets. We're ready to rock and roll. Zone 2, 68. Alright, let's see. I hope this will help someone out there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can check the end video as well. And after all that, you all have a great day.